Hi, welcome back to our Windows Server 2012 course, part 16. Topic for today is around user device affinity. Let's have a look what we have for today. User device affinity in 2012 server, the ID user schema is extended to support primary computers that are associated with the users. An administrator can populate the MSDS primary computer attribute with a list of computer name for a user or a group object. There are three major benefits to this approach. The administrator can specify which computer people can use to access their redirected data and settings. For example, the administrator can choose to room user data and settings among user desktop and laptop but to not room the information when the user log on to a conference room computer. User device affinity reduces the security and privacy risk for leaving uh, personal or corporate data on computers where the user has logged on. For example, a general manager who logs on to a um, to an employee's computer for temporary access does not leave behind any personal or corporate data. User device affinity enable the administrator to mitigate the risk of an improperly improper configure or otherwise corrupt profile, which could result from roaming between differently configured systems such as between x86 and 64 based. <laughs> to make user device affinity possible, folder redirection and roaming user profile components incorporate the following additional logic check when a user logs on to a computer. The Windows operating system check the new group policy settings to determine if the MSDS primary computer attribute in AD DS should influence the decision to room the user profile or apply folder direction. If the policy settings enable primary computer support, Windows verifies that the ADDS schema supports the MSDS primary computer attribute. If it does, Windows determine if the computer that use that the user is logged on to designated as a primary computer for the user as follow. If the computer is one of the user's primary computers, Windows applies the roaming user profile and redirect folder. If the computer is not one of the user's primary computers, Windows loads cache local profile for the user. If present or it creates a new local profile. Windows also removes any existing redirected folder according to the removal action that was specified by the previously applied policy setting, which is retained in the local folder redirection configuration. This is the settings. Group policy settings when you enable uh, apply roaming profile or folder direction or apply only roaming profile and can control it via ID. What about remote access? For remote access in Windows Server 2012, which is integrated direct access and routing and remote access service or RAS VPN. Direct access was introduced in 2008 R2, which allow managed computers located outside the corporate network to securely access internal resources without VPN connectivity. It established transparent connectivity to the corporate network every time direct access client computer connect to the internet, even before the user logged on. In addition, direct access allow admin to easily monitor connection and remotely manage direct access located on the internet. Computers running 2012, 2008, Windows 8, Windows 7 can be configured as direct access client computer. RAS provide remote access VPN connectivity among remote client and server. Side to side connection between servers and routings. RAS VPN provide a remote access solution for client computers that are unmanaged or running OS earlier than Windows 7. In Windows Server 2012, direct access and RAS are integrated into a single remote access server role. 
are all divided into two components DA and VPN and routing. The RTX and VPN can be configured together in the remote access management console by using single set of wizards. Other RAS feature can be configured by using the legacy routing and remote management console. The new role allow for easier integration or migration of RAS and direct access deployment from Windows 7 and provide number of new features and improvements. This is what I had for you for today. Hopefully you learned something useful and I hope you enjoyed watching. And I shall see you at the last part or part number one.